Okay, so I wanted to say a couple things at the beginning of this video before the game starts because once that happens, I will probably forget. So the first thing is that today is going to be a double upload and this video will be posted around 3 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you live on the East Coast of the US, this will probably be uploaded 3 o'clock your time. So I guess everyone can figure out the time differences there. Uh, the second video will most likely be posted around 10.30, 11, between 10.30 and 11 Eastern Time too. So again, East, East Coast of US will probably be around 10.30 to 11 p.m. So yeah, get ready for a double upload. Hopefully I can do some more of these too because you guys have been fucking amazing with all the support and shit. So maybe I can do some more of these. And the second thing I wanted to say too is that since you guys have been fucking amazing with all the support and shit maybe in the near future I'm probably going to do something like just play a bunch of subs and games and stuff like that not sure when and I don't know if I should have some you know not some rules but just some standards for the game because I don't want if you guys want that then I was gonna say maybe your team has to be a certain overall or something like that because if your team if your, if your team isn't, you know, the best or anything, you may not want to play me because you may not think it'll be even or something like that. But I don't care. Like, if you want to play, that'll be cool. I'm just saying maybe some people might not want to play because their team isn't the best overall. So I don't know if I should say, oh, your team has to be a certain rating or your team has to be a certain overall. But if you guys don't give a shit about that, then I'll play anybody. It doesn't matter. And I'm not really sure when I'm going to do that. But it's definitely going to be soon because some people have been asking me if I'm going to do that. And I'm probably going to do that. And the videos will be posted too, no matter what happens. So yeah, hopefully I can do that soon because I've just been rolling along with the Diamond Dynasty. So maybe, maybe this weekend, today is Thursday. And to be honest, I would tonight, but I have to watch my fucking New York Jets get their asses kicked by the Bills. So uh, yeah, I can't really do that tonight because I'm, I'm going to be watching that game and there's fucking baseball on too. Tomorrow I think I'm doing something, but maybe this weekend... Uh, I can play some, maybe like Sunday or something, I could play a bunch of guys in some games, like a couple people, not just like one or two people, maybe a uh, good, you know, handful of people at least, and the videos will be posted. Maybe not all of them, if I play, you know, a shitload of people, maybe not all of them, I'll just like choose the best games out of all of them or something. And yeah, that's going to happen soon. So again, today is double upload, be on the lookout for that. And hopefully this weekend or something, I don't, I don't know, if that's not a guarantee that's going to happen this weekend, but maybe... In the near future, I'm probably going to play some subs and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before I forget, before my stupid ass forgets once this game starts. Because I go into half of these commentaries saying I'm going to say some things and I totally forget. So this was kind of interesting because Kershaw was making the debut. But this guy also had Clayton Kershaw on the man. So quite the scenario we got brewing in this game. And oh yeah, fuck. I don't know when. I want to say this too. I don't know when the new captains are coming out, the new level 50 captains. Is it today? I have no idea when it is. It may, it may be tomorrow, but it's defi definitely today or tomorrow. And we're, if it's going to be like, if there's going to be insane captains, like someone I want to pick up or something, I'm definitely going to start grinding innings again. I did a lot of grinding of innings over the past month or so to get Pujols and Ted Williams. So I wanted to take a break from that a little bit. So if there's going to be some crazy captains, I'm probably going to want to grind some innings again. So I'm probably going to reach out to you guys again see who wants to grind some mains because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people too want to get some players in the captain sets so whenever those guys release I am going to see who I want and how many tickets you need to get that guy and then I will probably in one of the videos I'll just say who wants to grind some damn innings and we can do that hopefully and it's going to be you know one of those one of those marathons, I know it's probably difficult for some people these days, but maybe on like weekends or something, uh, some, someone who will be able to marathon it, because I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do that, especially if there's gonna be somebody crazy I wanna get, I just have a feeling there's gonna, they're gonna drop some, they're gonna drop some insane players, I just have a feeling, they may not, I don't even know what's gonna happen, I have no idea who is going to be the new level 50 captains, but I just have a feeling there's gonna be some lunatics there, so yeah, probably in one of the next videos, whenever these guys come on, I'm going to say he wants to grind some minions and hopefully we can get to it. Reggie Stalker makes one of the worst errors you will ever see in your life. Just go, ball goes off his fucking face 
and I'm able to score from second base, so I am luckily going up, very luckily going up in this game, one nothing in the fourth. And there wasn't that much going on in this game up until this point. Kershaw versus Kershaw, both of them were dueling on the mound, so this was definitely a pitcher's duel. I had a feeling this was going to be the case, even though I like facing the lefties. Uh, this was, yeah, this is probably only the second lefty I've faced in the past, like, 20 games, probably. Actually, probably not that long, but still. I usually have a field day with the lefties for the most part. And, yeah, that's that usually is the case because guys like Pujols and even Altuve, Donaldson, even though he's not in the lineup, Arenado, and even Ted Williams like that. Lefties, Hamilton even does a good job against the lefties as well. But I did platoon those guys, or uh, I put new guys in for them. I think I put Andre Dawson in at left for... Hamilton, and then I put Altuve in for Cano. I think those were the only changes I made. But, yeah, I was actually thinking about putting Donaldson back in, but Arenado's a righty, so why the hell would I switch that shit up? In the fifth, I was struggling. This guy struck out. I struck out. He struck out the side on me, I'm pretty sure, going down looking with Kershaw right there to end that inning, so need to come out and answer. Ichiro, of course, is on this guy's team, and this guy actually had a pretty crazy teammate. Reggie Stalker, Tulowitzki. I think he had that Matt Kemp, Matt Kemp too. And I forget who else he had. Buster Posey, I think that was. Or a couple other guys. He had his Diamond Dynasty player on the team, too, which I also did. Was it the last video that Roy Junkie was in? Or was this... I don't know. I think this was the first video that Roy Junkie has been in since I said I was going to move him to a catcher. And he's he's only a 94? I think he's only a 94 catcher, which was a huge surprise. I thought he was going to be at least a 96 or something. But he's only a 94, and yeah, I'm probably just going to... Leave him in for a little bit since he is a switch hitter and Posey hasn't been doing that much. Pujols again coming up with a base hit. Thought I was going to go deep on that last at bat from Pujols. Looked good off the bat, but no. A-Rod was struggling in this game. I, I don't even know what the fuck I was looking for right there. Waiting on something up in the strike zone and I get it and I go down looking. So that is... That's when you know it is one of those games where you're not going to get that much going with the bats. But this guy luckily wasn't getting that much going either up until Tulowitzki is up trying to do something late in this game in the seventh inning. Well, he's really kept himself in the game here. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. Here's so Tulowitzki. Pretty much the only shit that is being done at the plate in this game. Tulowitzki ties this game up in the top of the seventh. I shouldn't even have a run on the board since Reggie Stalker had that or made that error earlier in this game. So I need to come back and I need to answer and I need to answer quick because we're already in the bottom of the seventh. This game went by pretty quick. I didn't even like realize it was this late in the game when I was playing. I just looked up and it was the seventh inning already. I was like, what the hell is going on? I thought it was like the fifth or something. But Kemp and Arenado are going down easily. And then the steroid junkie is making good contact. Thought that was going to find the gap. But Ichiro is out there and he's able to make that catch easily. So going into the top of the eighth, Matt Kemp is leading it off. I got a 2-2 count was with nobody, nobody out. And I was thinking about getting some guys up in the pen because, I don't know, Kershaw was doing a really good job, but I think he was coming up in the next inning. Yeah, he was. So I wanted to get some guys up in the pen. I think I put in, I think I had up uh, Joaquin Benoit and Zach Britton or something. Usually get a lefty and a righty up at the same time. This guy's able to get a guy on base, but I'm able to get out of it as each row just flies out to Kemp in center field to end this inning. So another close one it is insane man last couple games have been down to the wire it is insane some extra inning games some shit happening late in games the seventh eight or ninth and i had a feeling this was going to be the case too hoping i always hope it doesn't go into extra innings because these games are long enough without even them being in extra innings so if you go to extra innings these games are going to be over an hour most likely so I'm going down making no noise yet again in the bottom of the eighth. So, yeah, actually, I had Fernando Rodney in the pen warming up. And this is actually the flashback Fernando Rodney. I was able to pick up some more guys. I mean, I did have the just the live series Fernando Rodney, who is already a beast. But, man, when you add that slider on, this guy is probably one of the best relievers. or He's a closer, technically, but he's probably one of the best guys coming out of the pen in the game. The circle change is ridiculous on that Fernando Rodney, and even the slider is good against righties to use. A-Rod again, struggling, struggling with the bat in this game, but don't worry, man. I'm going to be bouncing back with A-Rod soon, very soon. I have a feeling A-Rod is just going to break out one of these games. That's usually what happens when I pick up new guys. I just struggle with them when I first pick them up. 
and then a couple games later I just break up with them. The 12th inning, fast forward to the 12th because nothing happened in the 10th or 11th. Reggie Stalker is able to get the stand-up double, and then Tulawitzki is up again looking to do some more damage. Hit hard, up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. Long throw to the plate, but it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Nolan Arenado takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Hamilton, and this one is gone, a home run. Fucking Tulowitzki has been killing me this game. And when it rains, it pours. Arenado gets a dinger right after Tulowitzki cashes in that run. So now this guy is up 4-1 in the 12th. And Pools is actually able to get on base right there with the infield single. Able to squeeze it by pretty much the third baseman and shortstop over there. But after that, nothing really happened. Able to get another, or Pools was still in first base. But Arenado just flies out to end this game. Tulowitzki was killing me this game. He was definitely the difference, so that is definitely why he got player of the game. Well deserved. Joaquin Benoit came in and shut the door the last game, but he came in and blew it this game, so he takes the loss. And yeah, double upload today, so look out for that next video. Like I said, it's going to be posted around 10, 30, 11 o'clock p.m. U.S. Eastern Time.